So let's check in with First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen. So you can have these nicely paved roads, but if you have a layer of ice and snow, it really doesn't matter, does it? It does not. Mm -hmm. And they are going to still experience another round of snowfall tomorrow. Will we get another round of showers around the Bay Area? We'll talk about how much they expect in the Sierra momentarily. But let's talk about our weather around here and what you need to know as we head through the next few days. A look to the south from Salesforce Tower, and you can see the sky is trying to clear out over the Bay and over San Francisco in the wake of that rain that's moving farther and farther to the east. Dry break is going to settle in as the last band of showers moves off to the east, but then more showers are going to arrive tomorrow morning. These are going to be fairly light, fairly quick, but they are going to wet down the roads once again as we head through much of Thursday. And then a dry break that's going to last quite a bit longer arrives beginning Friday. It's going to extend through at least the middle of next week. Near average temperatures over the weekend before things warm up as we head into next week as well. Here's the loop over the past couple of hours, and you can see that last band of heavy rain that swept through San Francisco a little over an hour ago. That's pushing farther and farther to the east through Contra Costa and Alameda counties and once that moves out we're just going to see a few patches of lingering drizzle maybe a light shower or two but those are going to be pretty few and far between as futurecast radar simulation indicates in terms of that next band of rain it's going to be moving into the north bay right around the time the sun comes up tomorrow morning quickly advancing north to south across the bay area so the rain arriving at the golden gate right around nine o'clock in the morning and then moving quickly through once this last band of showers moves out by late afternoon that's it for the rain chances, not just as we head into the weekend, but for the foreseeable future. Next hint of rain really far down the line doesn't arrive until the end of next week. And that is a really long way off in terms of forecasting terms. So we'll take a look. We'll keep an eye on that as we head through the next several days. The cloud cover, of course, today took a chunk out of our solar electricity generation. Same thing tomorrow, but with more sun emerging on Friday, we'll make the most of the meager amount of daylight we get this time of year with the numbers climbing on Friday. How much rain are we talking about as the showers move through? tomorrow. Not a lot, a few hundredths of an inch to around a quarter inch of rain on top of what we picked up. And that's generally the range that we saw today. Just a little bit more out of those showers today. We'll get an updated numbers before six o'clock. And in terms of additional snowfall in the Sierra, they've already had several inches and they're going to pick up anywhere from one to four additional inches of snowfall as we head through the day tomorrow. The winter weather advisory there goes through 4 p.m. on Thursday. This other forecast model, though, is a little more optimistic, saying three to six inches of total snowfall in the Sierra. So we'll see exactly how it piles up. Either way, the ski resorts will take every single flake that they can get. The winds will be a bit gusty as that next band of rain moves through tomorrow, but I don't think we're going to have any gusts that are going to be overly strong, mostly in the 15 to 20 mile an hour range, occasional gusts over 20 miles an hour, but nothing that's going to prompt a wind advisory or anything like that. Looking towards downtown and the Bay Bridge from Treasure Island, temperatures have retreated from highs that were mostly in the 60s today back down to the mid to upper 50s to around 60 degrees. And as we head through the rest of tonight with a mix of clouds and clear sky, we are going to drop down to the temperatures that are going to be into the 40s for the most part by early tomorrow morning. But again, waiting on that rain to push farther off to the east before we completely sound the all clear and the roads can start to dry out. Let's take a look at tomorrow's high temperatures, and those are going to manage to climb again to a few degrees above average in most spots. San Jose was 67 today. I think you'll be around 63 degrees tomorrow, so not quite as warm. In general, these temperatures are going to be within two or three degrees of average, some upper 50s for the coolest locations on the map. But that's where we're largely supposed to be in December. And very similar temperatures are in the forecast for Friday and Saturday and again on Sunday. And then that warm up is going to kick in as we head farther into next week with temperatures climbing back to about six to eight degrees above average. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast. We'll start with inland parts of the Bay Area where temperatures will hover near average through the weekend. And then there's that warming trend sending us up into the middle portion of the 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday. And for all parts of the Bay Area, it is just the one very lonely chance of rain in the forecast for tomorrow. After that, it is a dry stretch of weather that is going to last for a while. Not exactly what we expect in the month of December. This is one of our wetter months, but we talked about this as we were heading into December that the long range data was pointing at probably below average rainfall for this month, but then we'll make up for that deficit as we head through January and February. We'll keep our eyes on all of that as we head through the next several days.